What's up, YouTube gang? This is your girl, Mommy So True. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to my channel. I'm hype because I need you to be hype. A lot of y'all come and watch these videos and you be feeling down. You be just, you just be like, yo, I'm really just trying to figure out why I'm in this situation, why I love this person, why they don't love me, why have I been abused? Listen, choose happiness every day if you can. Trust the process of life and understand that everything is going to work itself out. Honestly, if you were led to watch this video today, God's grace and mercy is so sufficient on your life because I am here as an advocate and as a speaker to let you know you're not the only one experiencing this pain and you're not going to stay like that. You have the power to heal from this narcissistic abuse, this toxic abuse, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, whatever it is you've experienced and whatever it is that you're going through right now, today that you're watching this video. I stopped by today to tell somebody to hold on to their reality. Hold on to your reality. Whether you're trying to leave the narc, whether you have left the narc, whether you're trying to figure out what you wanna do, Hold on to your reality because one of the biggest problems with dealing with this abuse is feeling like you're crazy and feeling like you're wrong for, for what's happening to you. You're in a relationship with someone who denies your emotions and denies your feelings and it's not okay. Having to doubt your feelings when you know you're being mistreated is unexplainably painful. You need to hold on to your reality, not only to stand against the narc, but to be strong against all other narcissists, because it's not just the one you're married to. It's not just the sibling. It's not just the mom. They're everywhere. And trust me when I say the fact that they know they're being exposed, they are pissed off. And that's why I'm dropping this video to you today, because I feel so strongly that narcs are feeling like they're being attacked. There's so many videos out there now of people exposing, educating, and talking about these narcissists. And what's so crazy is a lot of narcissists are so convicted by their actions and the things that they're doing. And by this exposure now in this world and in society is making a lot of them question what they're doing and what they're taking people through. Many of them are pissed off. Many of them think we're just coming for them. Many of them think they're just being treated as non-humans. And that's not it. I never said a narcissist was not a human. I just said they are demonic spirits. They are humans being used by evil forces all day long. And I'm, and I'm always stand on that because that is the truth. The reason why there's people like me speaking against these people and standing up as advocates is because we don't necessarily want to leave the narc. We don't necessarily want to break our families. We want things to change, especially those of us who married narcissists. Nobody in their right mind gets married to somebody and want to fucking leave. Nobody in their right mind gets married and start a family and bring someone into their world, get their money involved, put everything into that person's hands just to be disappointed and just to be hurt to the point where they feel like they have to run. Nobody gets married to want to freaking run. I'm sorry. Not no man, not no woman. It just does not make sense. So when I now see narcissists creating channels, trying to educate the world to let them understand that they are normal and that what they're doing should be accepted because they're just normal and they just and they're just misunderstood is sickening people like me have to stand up and talk about it because we're trying to let you know we know you're sick and we know that you don't know you're sick and we know that you don't understand the extent of your sickness and we know that you don't understand that we get tired. The good ones, we get tired. Good women get tired. Good men get tired. A lot of us have tried our best to stay in these narcissistic relationships. No matter how much shit they did to you, you tried to stay loyal. You tried to stay faithful. You tried to be the best person you could to this person. Genuinely. 
even through the painful nights, even through the unpleasant sexual experiences, even through the embarrassing moments in front of people in public, even through the harsh criticisms, you try to love that parent. You try to love that man. You try to love that woman with your all. And they just kept being evil. The evil did not stop. The more you tried, the more they gave you evil. They kept choosing to let the devil use them to be evil. You have to hold on to your reality or they're going to make you freaking lose it. Not only are you going to lose everything you've built, you're going to lose your mind. And that's what these narcissists don't realize. A lot of us walk away and run because we don't want to lose our fucking mind. Do you know how hard it is to get your mind back after it's gone? Do y'all not see people in the streets who are mentally gone? Have you ever witnessed someone who is just mentally tapped out? They just no longer own themselves in any kind of way. It's sad. And there's usually no coming back from that shit. Most of you were in a relationship where you were concerned about that person, their children, the way they behaved, the way they came off to people. You know that their future is not bright and you wanted to help so bad, but they deflect your concerns and it made you think that you were crazy or that you were wrong. You dealing with a narcissist, they deny things that happen. They deny when things happen, things that bother you, things that bother your family, things that disrupt your home. You got these fake ass Christian narcissist people talking about being led by God and the Bible wants you to be submissive and this and that and the third, but they're not realizing that they're failing to connect with God. You going by what you're reading in that Bible, but you don't have a relationship with that spiritual being. So you're not being led properly at all. You're leaning into your own understanding, thinking that you're with a spouse who needs to kiss your ass. Thinking you need, thinking marriage is about being with a woman who needs to kiss your ass completely through all the hurt and pain and shame. You out here lying on this person, sleeping with other people, cheating on them, and you accusing them of your behaviors. You blaming your trifling ass actions on, on that person. And that's normal human behaviors. That's normal human attitudes. A lot of the, these fake narcissistic people using the Bible as an excuse to abuse. The Bible clearly shows that narcissism has been here and has always existed. Maybe we're calling it narcissism, but evil has always existed. The word narcissism is small to the problem. The word for this is complete evil. These people marry you and refuse to listen to you. And some of them want to throw the Bible in your face because they're saying that marrying you was a privilege for you because they married you. And that now you're married to them, you need to stay down and take all this hell and go through all of this shit and not have no feelings or no emotions because you married them. I know that's right. I know that's right. So God created you and me, but gave you all the special privileges. God, God made you the most special being on this earth because you're a man. And I'm only saying this because majority of the time women are getting attacked for exposing narcissism. A lot of men don't speak up as much as women. The men are definitely being abused too but they are not speaking up as much as women are. So it seems like the women are complaining and it seems like women are looking for reasons to run from their relationship. That's not what it is. All of this is complete manipulation. All of this is a world full of narcissism and they want to manipulate us. They want to continue to gaslight us and make us feel crazy for feeling that we are wronged in our relationships with these narcs. We ain't wrong. We ain't wrong. Feeling sad, feeling angry, being mad, being bitter, being resentful. Those are, those are not wrong. God created us as beings and we have those emotions for a reason. So if you're with someone who makes an excuse for mistreating you and says that you're just in your feelings a little too much, you need to recognize that as complete evil. Being told you shouldn't feel that way and that you're too sensitive, that's manipulation and that's complete fucking evil. Telling you you're angry when you're not. 
trying to control your emotions. Nobody was created by God himself to have that much power over you, period. You calling them a narcissist, now they calling you one. That's manipulative as fuck. You might be arguing about something, now they want to bring up the past just to throw you off. That's manipulative, evil-ass behavior. That's why you got to hold on to your reality because they will really trip you out. They will really make you think you crazy if you let them. These people will literally deny that something happened or they will deny the way that it happened. Gaslighting from a narcissist, it's not done in the most obvious way. It's done in such a creative way to destroy your, to destroy you mentally, tear down your self-esteem, make you severely insecure to their level and leave you completely feeling defeated. They don't want you to confront nothing that they're doing. They want you to normalize all the bullshit. That's why you got to hang on to your reality because a lot of us end up tolerating this because we fall into believing that, hey, I married you, so I got to stand, I got to stay through it. I got to stay through it. And I'm never going to sit here and tell somebody to leave their marriage. No, I believe strongly in the covenant of marriage, but it takes two to be married. The effort comes from both ends. We cannot have one demon and one angel married. After 30, 40 years, the angel is still going to fucking run away. And I'm not calling the angel an angel to say that the other spouse is perfect. No. But when you're dealing with someone who is toxic and has complete narcissistic traits and behaviors and you are opposite of them, you're the angel, they're the demon. Flat out. Doubting your reality will leave you completely confused. We are going into 2023 and these narcissists are speaking up just as much as those who have endured in their abuse are speaking up. Don't let it trick you. Don't let it fool you. And don't let it keep you conformed and stuck in your situation. Especially if you're not married. You have no obligation to stay with someone who is abusing you, misusing you, not seeing you for your worth, never going to change, and always going to allow the devil to use them to hurt you. Hold on to your reality. I'm thankful for my reality on today, y'all. It hurt to see the reality and to understand what I was dealing with and to accept that I was allowing the pain to continue. But I held on to the reality because I almost allowed my ex to get, to get me to believe that I was part of the problem, to get me to believe that we all have issues and that nobody's perfect. I really almost fell for that and I really almost let him just take complete hold of my life and take complete control over my life. But I had to hold on to my reality. I hope this video helps somebody today. Thank you for stopping by. This is your girl, Mommy So True. Share your experiences, share your thoughts, because what you have to say is going to help so many other people. All right, you guys, until next time.